This right here is a solar powered wall light plus camera that is completely hassle free and also completely self sustaining. It is extremely easy to install and also super easy to attach and detach from the base plate. But best of all, you actually never have to take it off. Just hang it up once, it will charge itself, it will light up your walkways. And on top, it is also a great security camera with a 2K video resolution and state of the art color and also infrared night vision. And of course, the newest AI features, not to forget. It is still super affordable though, so a multicam setup is also easily possible. But is it any good? Let's find out. New drip. Got the new drip from Eufy Security, the Eufy Solar Wall Light Cam S120. By the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will list the link, the best deals for you. And now, let's check it out. Here we have the box, all the features and specs on the back, this on the side, this on the other side, small print on the bottom and the UV security logo on top, also this sticky wrap and now let's open it up and inside here is a tray that will just slide out and on here we have the camera, let's remove it and down here we also have the paperwork and all the accessories so let's get straight to it. So first of all, we have the quick start guide, multi-language, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we also get this box with all the mounting hardware inside. So we will get a cable, USB-C to USB-C. We will get this rubber seal right there that we can stick on a cable. We have dowels and screws, safety note right there. And of course the mounting bracket with the up arrow, that's the back side. And right here we also have a screw, a thread, insert and it will just work like this basically. So this on the wall, put it on, press it in place, we'll get to that of course. So yeah, great hardware to recap, cable, seal, plate and the mounting hardware, the screws. Done with the unboxing, let's get to my first impressions and then of course to a close overview. So here we have the camera itself. There is a wrap on here. First of all, let's remove this protective wrap on both sides, just like that. So here we have it, as we can see, massive diffuser on the bottom, looks like a bright light source. We have the camera on top, on the front, and it's angled downward a bit. That's also great for the solar panel. Angling solar panels will give them better efficiency. And on the side we have the speaker and on the back, the mounting bracket. So let's take a close look. So here we also have all the small print and we also have the sync button right there and this right here this seal covers the USB-C port for charging it we have this side right here is just blank and on this side we have the speaker that's the bottom right here with a hole for a screw if you want to permanently mount it basically on top we have the solar panel and I think you can see the segments clearly right here nice panel and the front side with the diffuser element the brand and of course the camera and also the sensors and the infrared LEDs and such. Not bad, right? So let's check out the app, set them all up, and then of course test them. Got the cable plugged in. Let's connect it to power, to a power bank. And as we can see, the light status LED ring is flashing. So here we have the app. I have removed all previous devices, so let's add one. And we have it right here, wall light camera. And we have the solar wall light cam S120. So let's add it to my home, press next. On the back, we have the QR code. So let's scan it. Let's connect to the Wi-Fi. Press the sync button until you hear the beep. Let's do it. That's the beep. It's now flashing, press next. And now the camera needs to scan the code. Just, Testing to the Wi-Fi network, please wait. Just like that, next. Setup was successful. All right, I also have the second one right there. Let's remove that. So we have the first camera and let's update the firmware. That's always a great idea. Let's wait for that to finish. And meanwhile, I will grab a cable for the second camera. So we're done with the Upgrade, let's choose a working mode. Optimal surveillance, sounds great to me. Also fully charge the battery before mounting it, next. Then we have the mounting guide, point for the right height is important, next. Of course, make sure that the sun is hitting the whole panel. If you get a shadow, even if it's a partial shadow, it's very likely that the whole panel will deliver zero energy. Very important, next. So to say it right here, even if it's just a pole or something like that, a partial shadow is also really bad. Next, then we have the location 
and also another scenario right there next. So avoid these locations right there. Of course, it's dumb underneath a roof and stuff. Trees, okay, of course, of course. And lastly, this next. So we have the live preview. So we have the, live preview. the microphone sounds great. And here we can see my hand. But before we get to the setup, let's of course check out the app in detail. So here we have installation height guidelines because you will have a blind zone depending on how high it is next. Then we have the mounting bracket, how to install it. Good stuff, good stuff. And lastly, this with the tightening screw done. So here we have it. We can see that it's currently getting charged. That is the app dashboard right there. So short overview, we have the devices tab down here. Then we have all the events. This is when it will spot and recognize a human, for example. Then we have AI Edge with the home base three. We have the security tab for a quick selection of different scenarios. And we also have the explore tab with all the products and the community. So let's go back to the dashboard and let's open up this camera. So let's go back and now we can see the preview, preview picture. And right here on the three spots or dots actually right there, we can snooze the camera for privacy reasons and we can also right here in the settings we can remove the device right there and we will check out the app features of the camera when we have installed them and now let's add the second camera and i will go through the same process as before and then i will see you in a bit with actually installing them got the cameras here facing downwards otherwise they will constantly recognize me and send me notifications and the cool thing about these brackets you don't necessarily have to wall mount it you can get really creative with them mount them to a shed or even to a tree anywhere anywhere you just need to insert the screws and screw it on somewhere up around two meters or more so a bit above head height would be optimal. So maybe one right there. All right, so I will see in a bit. So I have one right here and I have one right here. In both cases, slide above my head, which should give us a perfect picture. So let's grab the cameras. First of all, this one. And as you can see, they will already turn on the light. We need to configure all of that, but it's really easy to mount them just like easy, easy peasy. Perfect. So we have this one and the second one. Okay, I think I forgot to close the seal. So right there. And let's check the seal. Oh yeah, that's a no-go. The seal needs to be tight. So there we go, to ensure the water resistance. And we have the tiny screws right here. I don't think that wind can blow them off, but it's, it would be best to screw them in place. As you can see, 19 notifications already. So here we have it. And now let's see. So we have the cam one. And first of all, let's rename them. So down here, general name. Let's call this solar wall cam driveway, safe. There we go. And the other one right there, settings, general, and let's call this one solar wall cam garden. Save that. Perfect. So back to the dashboard. Now we have the garden cam up here and the driveway cam down here. So let's check out the garden cam first. Right here, we can turn on the light, as you can see, and we can turn it off again. We have the connection rate. We can record, screenshot, we can speak. Hello. Hello. Hold and speak. Nice. We can also mute the sound and we can also sound an alarm. Sound and light, continue. Yo. Here we can also access the events and right here we can turn on and off auto night vision. Now let's check out the settings briefly. I have been detected, so we have the power manager. Oh, I just noticed the displacement is actually really bad because of the roof. And before taking a video, let's check the video settings. Quality 2K and recording quality 2K as well. That's looking good. And by the way, here we can also turn off the status LED if you want to go low profile. Invisibility during the night. We have the audio settings. That's looking fine to me. Notification settings. We can turn it off actually but let's leave it then we have general settings and that's about it so let's record a video and right here we can hear the onboard audio as well again it's pretty windy so yeah we have pretty good coverage wow it's actually nice and the video quality is looking pretty good great image quality even though it's already super dark it's a very cloudy day today but as you can see it's looking proper and when i walk up to it okay so in my case so right here we have stones and the blind spot is covering the stones basically. Okay, and now let's switch it over to the driveway camera. So once again, we can turn on and off the light and let's take a video right off the bat. So onboard sound right there. So we can see the driveway right there and pretty much this little walkway is the blind spot as you can see. Ah, a bit more, a bit more. But yeah, great video quality. Let's turn on the light, see if it will make a difference. It's not that bright of a light. 
So that concludes the day test. So I will be back in a bit when it's dark and then we will do the night vision test. Can't wait and I will see you in a bit. And we are back, check this out. It will recognize me. Turn on the light, not bad, not bad. That's not too bad for this little light. Definitely not too bad. I have been spotted, so let's check out the garden cam. And there we are. Okay, so let's take a video and check this out. Really nice, really nice. Great light source. And let's switch to the other mode. And now let's turn off the light and it will switch to the night mode, I guess. Yes, there we go. So here we have the night vision. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow, look at that. Look at that. We can see the infrared LEDs right here, right next to the camera on the right side. This is what it looks like. And the night vision looks pretty good, as you can see. I will go to the other camera now. Let's exit. Oh my God. I need night vision too. Just tripped over this stone. So let's go to the other camera. Where is it? Ah, it's right there. We can see the infrared and now it will turn on. Yes, there we go. I have been spotted and here we have the driveway camera. And once again, let's take a video and let's turn off the light. And let's check it out. Color night vision and there we go. Infrared night vision, beautiful. Great wide angle camera. This black white night vision looks pretty nice. Check out my face. Very detailed. So these little guys deserve a massive thumbs up from my side, to say the least. As you saw, the setup and also the install process was a breeze. It was super easy, quick, fast, simple. You can mount it virtually anywhere. But of course, think about the sun. The sun will need to hit this, otherwise it can not charge itself, of course. But the possibilities are enormous. It is a solar light and also a solar powered security all in one. So you can use this to keep your driveways or walkways safe in the literal sense so that you can see where you're going and don't trip. And also, of course, to deter intruders. Thanks to the app that offers many, many features and also customization options, you can also go low profile with it. Turn off the status LED ring right there and only use the infrared night vision, for example. The system, of course, gets motion activated in either case and the video quality looks great. And as long as the sun is shining, your cameras will get charged. A great system, as I said, it's perfect for a multicam setup or just for filling in spots, you know, just additional add-ons for your existing security setup. So affordable and so great, especially for the price point. It's definitely drippy. Check out the product links in the description if you're interested. I will list and link the best deals for you. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing Tech Magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy your day and I will see you soon.